Hi everyone, this is Muhammad Kubaib. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about single sign-on and passwordless authentication for AVD with FidoKey. If you want to learn more about Azure and Azure Virtual Desktop, please check out my Udemy course. Recently, Microsoft released a preview feature which helps us to achieve single sign-on and passwordless authentication in AVD using Fido key, which is only applicable for Azure joint and hybrid joint session host. It does not apply for the Active Directory joint session host. To achieve single sign-on with Active Directory joint session host, you need to use ADFS and you need to configure certificate based authentication using ADFS. I have written the block so you can check out for more details. Let's see the prerequisites to configure passwordless SSO. The session host should be Windows 11 version 22H2 Enterprise Preview or Windows 11 version 22H2 Enterprise Multi Session Preview. And we need session host to be Azure AD joint or Hybrid AD joint. And then we need to have Kerberos AD module installed on any VM which is joined to domain. And then we need to create a Kerberos server object which requires domain admin and global admin credential. So basically Kerberos server object which will help to achieve single sign-on. Before we configure single sign-on, let's see what is the default behavior of AVD when we launch Azure Virtual Desktop. So first we need to click on subscribe and it will ask for the authentication. We need to enter the credential over here. I'm going to sign in with the user. So we need to enter the password and we need to enter the code match. This is for the MFA. So once we authenticate it, it will present with the VDI icon or AVD session host icon. So now we have the VDI icon over here. So we will click on this icon. So again, it will prompt for the authentication. This is for the session host. The first one, which is for the Azure AD. So now again, we need to enter the credential. So ultimately users are typing credential two times to get into the Azure Virtual Desktop. This is the current default behavior of Azure Virtual Desktop. So once we configure single sign on, then we can able to avoid the second login screen so that user can launch the VDI directly without entering the credential one more time. The configuration is very simple. So we need to go to our session host pool and we need to add the session host, which is Windows 11 Insider Preview. So let's go to add. Click next to virtual machine. And here we need to select the operating system as Windows 11 version 22H2 Enterprise Multi Session. So currently this feature is only available in this particular image version. It does not support Windows 10 or any other operating system at this moment. So once you select, so you can create your host. Pool. Once your session host is ready with the Windows 11 pre version, you can go to the session host. Then you can go to the RDP properties. Here under Azure Ready Authentication, you need to select RDP will attempt to use Azure Ready Authenticate to sign in. So make sure you select this and click on save. Now we need to log into any virtual machine which is joined to domain to do the further configuration. Now I have logged into the virtual machine. So I'm going to open a PowerShell. I'm going to launch Windows PowerShell ISC. Now we need to execute a few commands which will help us to create the Kerberos object in our Active Directory. So these are the commands we need to execute. So you can find the same commands on the Microsoft article, which is enable passwordless security key sign in. So you can find the same command over here as well. So these are the commands we need to execute now. So let's copy these commands and let's paste it over here and we'll execute one by one. So first command, which will install the Kerberos Azure AD module. So let's execute this. So we will just verify the module so we can execute the command get installed module.
as you can see the module has got installed which is azure ad hybrid authentication management so let's execute the second command which is this one so here we need to enter our domain name so in my case it is vdabus.site so i'm going to execute this now and then we need to execute the third command this command will prompt for global admin credential so i have a user called fs test 2 which is having a global admin privilege so similarly we need to execute the third command this will prompt for the domain admin credential so again the same user is having domain admin privilege as well at last we need to execute the final command this will create Kerberos object in the active directory and then it will publish it to the azure active directory as well so let's execute this the command has been executed successfully so we can verify this using get command so as you can see it created a Kerberos object which is krbtgt underscore azure ad so if we go to our active directory so we can find the same object there so let's go to our active directory so as you can see here this is the Kerberos server object so now we have completed all our configurations let's launch the rd client and let's try to subscribe i'm going to enter the username which is test11 at vdabus.site i'm going to enter the password and then i'm approving the code match which is for the mfa So now we have the video. So for the first time, it will provide you the prompt. So we need to select this and we need to enter our credential here. Click on sign in. And then enter the code match and read this carefully so it is asking allow remote desktop connection so allowing this connection means that you allow the remote device to access your account and sign in so we need to click on s so now onwards it won't ask for any credential further so that whenever you click on the avd icon it will take you to the vdi immediately without any additional login prompt so let's disconnect this and we'll try to connect once again so i'm going to refresh this now i'm going to launch the vda once again so now onwards as i mentioned it won't ask any credential further as you can see it completed the single sign-on logged into the vdi without entering any additional credential so this is how we can configure single sign-on however for the first time you need to enter the credential and then onwards it will do sso automatically now let's see how we can configure fido key to sign into azure virtual desktop without entering any credential it is a end-to-end -end pure passwordless sign-in the biggest advantage of fido key is as compared to other methods such as phone sign-in or code matching is so when we use phone sign-in or code matching we will get an option called use pin like it won't force you to use biometric always you have an always an option called use pin let's say if your phone got compromised and the hacker he is already know your pin then he can bypass the biometric and he can enter the pin and he can get into your virtual desktop so when you use fido key it comes with two factor one is the pin so user need to enter the pin 
and the second one is biometric so always user need to tap his finger so that he can get into the azure virtual desktop or any application which is integrated with azure virtual desktop so even though if the fido key got lost and attacker is having the key still attacker won't be able to bypass the biometric so this is the beauty of fido key and it prevents password sharing complete let's see how to configure fido authentication to our citrix virtual apps and desktop service so let's go to our azure active directory so under groups we have a group created for users who are using fido so this is the group so the members of this group will have fido access so if we go to the members we can see there are few members over here so for them we will enable fido authentication so to enable fido authentication we need to go to the azure active directory and we need to select authentication methods so once we click on authentication methods it will list all the available authentication method available on your tenant so let's click on fido security key and let's click on enable yes we need to select users here we need to select the groups which we have created for the fido users so this is the group let's select the group and save the configuration so now we can see fido security is enabled for one group so if any user part of this group trying to log into azure active directory whether it may be any other office 365 related applications or any application which is integrated with azure active directory will have option to login using fido security key to use fido first user should register for the fido service so let's go to the url that is myprofile.microsoft.com then user should enter his credential click on next enter the password let's configure fido for this account so under this my account click on security info so let's add one more authentication method that is security key click add click usb device since fido key is a usb device so click on usb device click next so you will get a prompt saying that on the browser to select the fido key so my fido key is external security key i am going to select this then we will get a prompt saying that to set up a security key sign in to login.microsoft.com as test2. at the rate vdabus.site so click ok then we will get one more prompt just click on ok so we need to touch our finger in the fido key so i have placed my key over here so now we need to enter a security pin so every fido key comes with the security pin that we are we have to set in the initial stage we need to enter the pin let's click ok we need to place our finger on the fido key So we need to enter a name for our fido key i'm going to give vdi key then click next and done so now we have enrolled our fido key with the user that is test2 at vdabus.site let's access our azure virtual desktop through fido key without entering any credential so i'm going to click on subscribe and then i'm going to click on sign in option instead of entering the username so it will ask for the 
sign in option so i need to select the security key over here the first option and here it will detect my security key so i'm going to select security key over here so now i need to touch my security key so i'm tapping my finger so now it will ask for the pin this is the pin i set while enrolling the fido key so i'm going to enter the pin over here and i'm clicking okay and now again i need to tap my finger now it will detect the username so i need to select test to at vda bus dot site this is the username i have enrolled with the fido i'm going to click okay now it successfully subscribed for the azure vda and i'm able to see the icon as well now i'm going to launch my vda so i'm clicking on the video icon over here so now it will take me to the vda directly without prompting for any additional prompt for the authentication as expected we have logged into the vda without entering any credential and the experience is truly passwordless using fido so this is how we can utilize fido as well as single sign on to get into the vda without entering any credential and it is purely passwordless sign in experience